hello beautiful and wonderful people welcome back to jinamon channel if you are new here it's so great to have you please don't forget to follow my page and subscribe to my channel as well in today's recipe i'll share with you how to make this simple super crunchy crispy amazing authentic Ghanaian party chips recipe it's very easy to make and i hope you're going to give it a try let's get started in the mixing bowl add then flour salt oil mix these ingredients together till well combined i'll leave the exact amount of the ingredients that i used at the end of the video and also in the comment section as well you can also check the description box as well so i added in after everything has come together i added in onion paste garlic paste and margarine i'll mix these ingredients together till well combined again so you're looking for something like a breadcrumbs consistency it should be something more or less like this and then when you squeeze it comes together and it easily fall apart like so that means you're at the right point i'll then create a well in the middle and add in water gradually do not add in all the water at once make sure you add bit by bit and then um work on it so everything has come together and onto it form a dough So I'll add in the rest and then knead it until and then work with it until everything has come together. Once it has formed a dough, please don't overwork it. Two minutes or even um, maximum three minutes should be enough. Don't overwork it. And then you don't look, you are not looking for a sticky dough. The dough should be more or less like this. I then covered it with a clean film and then I'll let it rest for at least 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, go ahead and preheat your oil. So because I was having a small surface, a smaller surface, I divided the dough into four equal parts. But if you have a big working surface, you can divide it into only two equal parts and then roll it out. So I divided mine into two equal parts, a four equal parts, sorry, and then I sprinkle a little bit of flour on my working surface before rolling the dough when rolling the dough it should be very thin less than the thickness should be even less than one millimeter just look at it as it's demonstrated in the video it should be something like this and then when done rolling this is very easy it has no formula you can just do it anyhow you want it you can tear it and put it directly in the oil once you are done rolling and you are good to go or you can use a knife a pizza cutter ravioli cutter to cut it and drop it in the oil so this is simple once you are done rolling you can do it anyhow you want it you can cut it into any shape that you want it you can make any design that you want it <laughs> in ghana when there's a party naming ceremony um unfortunately funerals we used to do this amazing chips and then we serve at the event it's very simple you can make it two or three days ahead and then uh, at the day, day you go ahead and serve it it's normally served with something like fresh refreshing drink and you are good to go <laughs> i hope you really enjoyed watching this video if you like this recipe why don't you give this video a thumbs up share comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already follow my page and guys just look at this isn't it beautiful <laughs> just look at this this was a different type or a different shape that i did like i said earlier on you can make any shape anything at all that you want of your choice and just look at this this is super crunchy crispy and trust me it's amazing <laughs> try this and you will love it it's more or less like chin chin like um, normal chips but in a flat form that's it <laughs> i hope you will share this video and then you follow my page and give this video a thumbs up as well love you all and stay blessed bye